Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. So I hope that you're all doing great. And so in this video, we will be talking about three systems, what is soon to be Hurricane Danielle, as well as Invests 91 and 94L. And 91L looks as though it is going to be bringing some impacts to portions of the Northeastern Caribbean. And so before I go into details, Okay, so here we have a wide view of the North Atlantic Basin right now. So there we have Danielle. So it is currently a tropical storm. And we also have Invest 91L that is located uh, just to the east of the Leeward Islands. And we also have that Invest, Invest 94L. And so let us look at these systems in detail starting out with Invest 94L. And so we're seeing here that it is given a low 10% chance to possibly develop into something during the next couple of days but this chance is pretty low so the chance has been decreasing for this and it is unlikely that we're going to be seeing any developments because uh, it is going to be in an unfavorable environment and that is going to limit uh, how much development or intensification is going to happen with these systems so it is not likely that this is going to become anything significant out there however let us go ahead now and talk about Danielle so uh, my name is officially used for a storm so yesterday uh, in the morning, what was previously known as Tropical Depression 5 intensified into Tropical Storm Danielle, and now it is almost a hurricane. And so looking at it on satellites, here we are seeing a nice rotation taking place with the system. We had that ragged eye feature trying to develop right there. So uh, let's see what's going to eventually happen with it. But by later today, by later this morning, uh, this should become Hurricane Danielle because it is just beneath hurricane status right now. And so here we are looking at the National Hurricane Center's graph graphical uh outlook for the system this cone forecast and so we are seeing that Daniela has sustained winds of 70 miles per hour and it is accelerating eastward very slowly at a pace of just three miles per hour so this system is going to be loitering within this region during the next couple of days and uh, with that in place it is likely that this is going to be intensifying maybe into a category 2 hurricane at peak so the National Hurricane Center is expecting that Daniela is going to be having maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour and so it is then expected to make a general northeastward track as we're going to be heading into the early to the middle part of the new week and so nowhere is really expected to be affected by me so uh, maybe the Azores will feel some impacts but there are no direct impacts that are anticipated from Danielle as of right now and let's now go on to invest 91 L so invest 91 L is given a high 70% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone over the next couple of days so the chance has dropped uh, from what we saw yesterday so the chance uh, dropped from 80 to 70 percent but nonetheless the system is looking as though it it could survive the hostility ahead for it and uh, make its way into much more favorable conditions and I want to point out something to you guys uh, the cone for the long term is getting wider which means that uh, the center can pass anywhere within that region and so only time is going to tell what exactly 91L is going to be doing however we see that the portions of the northeastern Caribbean are now within this highlighted area here so uh, portions of the Leeward Islands as well as the Virgin islands maybe sections of eastern puerto rico as well and so the system is likely to make a close passage which would result in locally heavy rainfall across some areas uh, during the next couple of days and so guys i really want you to be aware of that happening because sometimes it takes less than a storm to cause some um, major damage especially in terms of all of the rainfall so prolonged heavy rainfall can result in flooding and especially in low-lying areas and so please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks and so recon is going to be investigating the system later today if necessary but here it is on satellite we're seeing that we have this blob of shower and thunderstorm activity and we also have some showers and thunderstorms making their way into portions of the uh, lesser antilles uh, so portions of guadeloupe and uh dominica so you guys can let me know what the weather is like in your area maybe by the time this video has posted uh maybe some of these showers 
hours have passed. But let me know what is going on in your area, guys. So that is what is expected of 91L. And it has an unfavorable environment ahead of it. And that is going to be limiting how strong it'll be. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, starting off with this water vapor map. So the yellows indicate that there is dry air. Meanwhile, where we have those blues and we see those whites and greens, that is indicating these showers and thunderstorms, a lot of moisture within those regions. So 91L is going to be going through all of that dry air and it is going to be interfering with the system because when we have dry air infiltration, that helps to limit shower and thunderstorm activity. And so uh, it is going to be having that as a struggle as well as the wind shear. So looking at the wind shear map, so the green means favorable shear. Uh, that is favorable for tropical cyclone development and intensification. We have neutral shear, which is not too impactful. However, unfavorable shear helps to prevent storms from growing. And so we also see that unfavorable shear up ahead for the system. So it is located right within that area. So as I said, we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening. And let us see if this is going to be uh, persevering and making its way up to the north of the eastern Caribbean where conditions could become more favorable for development and maybe we could see something become of this and so uh, if that is going to be the outcome then the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Earl. So if we have this intensified into a tropical cyclone it is going to be acquiring the name Earl and uh, models have been agreeing on this one uh, maybe getting itself together and intensifying north of the Caribbean. And so looking at the sea surface temperature map right now, and so we are seeing that things are definitely warm in the vicinity of uh, 91L and also in the vicinity of Danielle. So Danielle is going to be in temperatures of around 26 to 27 degrees Celsius over the next three days. And three days is quite the amount of time for us to see some intensification, keeping that other factors are not too impactful, such as the wind shear. So we, as I said earlier, we might see Danielle becoming a category two hurricane at peak, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Danielle manages to intensify further than that, guys. But as I said, thankfully, it is not a threat to land. And so, guys, as we're going to be heading further into the month of September, we are going to be seeing a lot more activity. And so models were picking up on a wave moving westward and developing as though it is headed for the Caribbean. But now we're not really seeing that anymore. So let's see what's going to be happening. I mean, we're pretty far out now from that time, which is about by the end of next week going into the other week. However, September is known for producing some very significant tropical cyclones, some very major hurricanes too. And looking at this graph, we see a spike in activity that usually happens around the middle part of the month. So there is a lot more activity to come as we head further into this hurricane season. And as I showed you guys yesterday, the Climate Prediction Center has highlighted an area uh, that we're supposed to be watching. So by sometime next week, the middle of next week, going to the middle part of the other week, here we have this area highlighted uh, with a moderate confidence of tropical cyclone development. So let's wait and see what is going to be happening. But of course, it is the time of year for persons who live in uh, the Caribbean, the East Coast, the Gulf Coast to keep an eye on the tropics because tropical cyclone activity will be increasing. And so guys, that is really it for this update video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be with wise.